Okay. Um, well, okay. when you open the front door, you walk in, and you see what appears to be, uh... 10,000 wreaths. Wreaths. It's not quite a reception area, but there is sort of a desk, and there appears to be a there appears to be an onion, there appears to be a reindeer sitting behind it, and most of this floor, when you walk in, appears to be open, and there is quite a bit of storage here, but also around where this where this uh, reindeer is sitting, appears to be just paperwork and other such things, and off and off to the back, you see a staircase that descends up, and as you walk in. He sort of glances up at you and uh, looks at you curiously. Uh, can I help you? Hold on. Real quick before we get to the with the reindeer with the British accent, um, can we talk about the staircase that descends up? Did I say descends up? You mean... Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's just ascending. <laughs> We stepped into the Escher painting. Everyone, everyone tries to, it's, no, it's the down escalator, but everyone tries to walk up it. <laughs> There's only one escalator on this ride, and it goes down. So anyways, uh, can I help you? I walk up to the thing. Yeah, we're looking for a, a Grayski. Uh... First name? Are you serious? <laughs> My first name? No, no, no. He's asking, like, you said looking for a gray, a gray ski, and he, then he's like, do you know the first first name of this gray ski? Eo. Frederick. Frederick gray ski? Yes. Yeah. Well, um, I am Frederick gray ski. Can I help you? Can I help you? Crossbow to the face. <laughs> I just stand there shocked. Um, do we still have the <laughs> note that has his name on it that we got from Dancy? I mean, unless you guys disposed of it. I'd say we do. I don't know who has it, but... Pardon? I was like, pardon? Hold up. Hold up. I was like, I, I don't shoot him in the face. I'm just saying. Oh, he is our target, apparently. Who you know, had it last? I felt you know, like Ophelia would be the one to have the note. Well, I, th I mean, it's been a while, so maybe it's exchanged hooves a couple times during the trip. Uh, uh, all right, let's just say I have it. I'll write it down real quick. So I show it to him, and I say, this is your hand hoof writing. No, no, I slam it down on the counter, and I say, this is your hoof writing. Uh, excuse me, I'm in the middle of doing some work here, but, uh, look down. Well, I'm afraid you're mistaken. I, I spell my name Gray Ski. This is Gray Sky. Oh, and then I'm sorry. We'll get out of your hair immediately, okay. sir. Thank you. Uh, okay, well, what's with all the people outside, and they are out of it. Oh. You mean the burgers? Yeah, that ain't natural. Oh, it's highly efficient. Uh, it's highly efficient. Uh, would you like to see? Just tell me. <clears throat> Don't show me. He shrugs. Well, we at Evergreen Estate run a very efficient operation. You see, the workers used to be uh, troublesome. They would need things such as shelter and food, other such things on a constant basis. Until about, uh, well, until two years ago when they placed in charge, I was approached and t uh, was offered a much more efficient way of managing them. So, we dismissed, the, we dismissed the old staff, and now we receive regular shipments of new workers. What we do is, on the second floor, we have a small collection of ice sprites producing golden oats. We then take the golden oats up to the third floor, Whereas the workers are forced fed the golden oats, they are placed into a cocoon which sucks the magic out of their body. You'll see the golden oats are not magical enough unto themselves to be worth it. So we have to feed them before the magic becomes usable. And then the magic is then funneled up, up, up into the valley. 
and the workers are subdued and much more amiable and able to work. So we put them out there to work for about he thinks for a second, 20 hours at the stretch. And we keep Pretty them sure moving this like multiple workers' rights laws. <laughs> My god, he's so casual about this enslavement. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of really considering just crossbow to the face right now. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, fault you for it. <laughs> so k- shut up, you sheep, and I'll see you continue. Right, I'm pretty sure this violates multiple workers' rights laws. One more time? Sorry, you got, you got really quiet there. It's like, I'm pretty sure this violates multiple workers' rights laws. <laughs> <laughs> the union um, will hear about this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, uh... 20 hours at a time. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And that's, uh, that's about it. Is, do you need something? Are you here to place an order? Do you need uh, some raw ostrich? No. Then uh, what brings yeah. you to Evergreen Estate? I pull out my crossbow and point at him. Uh, uh, no, wait, before right you there, does that, like, oh, wait, before you does that, I'd be like, one moment, please. I turn everyone. Follow up now. <laughs> Hold on. Shut up. Hold the shut up, Colorado. Follow my crossbow and I go. Stop right there. You clean no scheme. Okay, and then I huddle up. He, as well, a man, it means he's a bit overreactive. <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys are in a football huddle now, I suppose. Like, uh, the floor is yours. Do? I'm waiting to like. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Well, I mean, I already pulled out my crossbow and pointed it at him. I mean, they could just follow through on that. This man is clearly insane. I say we take him down immediately. Benson, what are your thoughts? Good. All right. He's with me. He wants me to shoot him with a crossbow. It's like, what about you, Zhang Cough. Perfect. Well, actually, Zhang do you have anything to say? She's just like, Mm, I don't know. Oh, you see. This. Well, the majority vote two, two for crossbow to the face. All right, let's let's go. Uh, for what it's worth, I, th- I suspect Benson would not agree with that. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Like, what do you think, Benson? Well, I've got it. <laughs> well. So what was the consensus? I want to shoot him in the face with my crossbow, and you guys have said nothing. Well, let's go ahead and hear this. Carlotta, what do you think should be done? That's what I was literally asking everybody else. Well, do you have an opinion? You already know mine. I just want to shoot the guy. Ophelia, do, uh, do you have an opinion about what should be done? I don't know. <laughs> this is weird. I'm gonna shoot him. I'll shoot him. <laughs> Let me. Do you He's have too any... casual about it. Jean-Claude, do you have any? Uh... Why isn't for shooting this guy in the face? Though she will admit something about this is in, is feeling a little off. Like. All right. How about this instead? This, I... this, it, um, this might be the guy, but at the same time, uh, who, who maybe, could be wrong. maybe he's just another guy who was hypnotized to think he was Grisky. <laughs> Damn it, you're right. And plus, he did make the the clear distinction of Grisky, gray sky. <sighs> you know, I'll ask. You know what? I'll, I'll ask him. I mean, we could do. A... I want to ask him something too, but Zhang Hua can go first. We could like uh, wait till I'll night cool and then do all this all sneak alike. All right, Zhang you uh, walk up to him, yes? Uh, I do I too, ask, but I stay I quiet. Him, you say you, you spell your name as Grace Key, correct? That is correct. And the note writes his name as Grace Sky. And this is also correct. Is there a gray sky anywhere around here? Hmm. He thinks for a moment. That's a long thinking. Yeah. Yeah, 
he does he does appear to be uh deep in thought about that question. What was Let it that the stranger asked? I, he cut out. Do you know where? Do you know if there? I believe it's something you can. Have, do you know if there's a? Gray do you know sky? if there's a gray sky around here? Yes. You know because he said he was gray ski. He was asking if there were any gray skies. I have, I have an investigation on standby, but I don't know if that'll work. Like sense motive. Uh, and insight. Insight would be the uh, sense motive. Good. I'm gonna I'm gonna do an insight check on the on the guy. Whenever. Well, I'll, 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 I'll wait. I'll wait for his answer, then I'll pop in. His response is, I'm afraid I can't really discuss that. I have much business to do. If you have nothing, if you have no business here, then I will have to ask you to leave me be. I am not an insightful person. 19 <laughs> insight. It's pretty obvious, but yeah, he knows who you're talking about. You also sense absolutely no, like, it was pretty obvious in his voice, but it appears that everything he's talking about, he's just, it's all business to him. All business. All business. There's just no moral connection to anything that's going on. So you don't sense any maliciousness from him. He is but the you true also neutral. Sense, he's like, true he, neutral. He looks, he looks at the workers as basically a disposable resource. The dude is completely true neutral. Can I ask my thing now? Sure. All right, so I now uh, speak up and I ask, so you, your, what was his name, Frederick? Frederick. Yes. Okay, so you're Frederick Grayski, right? Yes. So where are the other Grayskis? Well, I don't see why. Well, I, I don't know that I need to tell you about my family. Most of my back in, most of my back in rain. Intimidation. I don't know. Go ahead and give me an intimidation check. <clears throat> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> huh? it, it appears uh, he is nonplussed or he is uh, unimpressed. But if you must know, they. You must know they are mostly back in rain. Mostly. So is there someone out here? He, you know, is, I don't see why that's any business of yours. Interpretation. I mean, I mean, technically he's out here, so that counts as mostly. But if, I, <laughs> if you must know, <laughs> if you must know, I'm the only gray ski outside of rain. Interpretation. My God. Uh, I don't think... <laughs> Sure, I guess. Although I really want to intimidate this guy. What is the what's what's your goal behind intimidation? Just to intimidate him, or are you trying to get a piece of information? I'm trying to get some. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All All right. Right. That, that means something. I just have to figure out what it means. Give me a hot. I I wanted. I was gonna try to intimidate him into tell into like. I was gonna be like not about his family, but I was kind of like a, a ruse. I was gonna be like, all right. Like you, you're gonna tell us about this gray sky right now, or and I was actually, if I got good, I was gonna, I was gonna ask if I could also pull out one of the daggers I have. But since I didn't, and I got in that one, uh, I'm pretty sure I can. All right. So what we'll say is you did that, and it, and when you went to pull out your dagger in a threatening manner, you basically kind of dropped it. Butter um, hooves. Pretty much, and that actually causes him to stand up in alarm. Um, and I told I you I should have been. I turned, a, I turned to Grace. I turned to Grace and he'd be like, "Would you be surprised if I told he you books this it. the first time he tried this?" Grace, he books it. Crossbow to the back now. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm a chase him. I'm gonna chase him. I'm gonna chase him. Let's get some Can I, uh, to try Question. It. Yes. Can I use my charm ungulate spell on him? To stop him. You could. Well, let's Benson roll some has let's command. Roll some real quick. Benson has command. Yeah, Benson has command. It's actually better. Oh, big man. Still, still, we need some initiative. All right. Fourteen. Let's see, Benson's initiative. Oh, Benson's initiative is minus one. Damn. 
14. <laughs> one. Oh my Unnatural god. Unnatural one. <laughs> Great job. 13. Appearance. Okay. Man, I love that orc feet. <laughs> I don't. Well, I've never seen an unnatural one. It's, it's, uh, it, so, wouldn't count, it wouldn't count as a, a like some kind of it wouldn't count as a crit fail in my opinion. No, it's just a really bad result. Yeah, I'm not saying it's all about the it's all about the natural results, the unaltered, unmodified result. Um, yeah. Well, Grayski rolled really bad, so he goes to book it. Not as bad as Benson. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to book it, but his chair kind of gets in the way, but his intentions are very clear. But for what it's worth, uh, he's booking more out of, like, oh, snap, my life is being threatened than yeah. anything else. But that said, uh, let's see this look here. Uh, me and uh, Ophelia got 14s, but she has the better... She has a modifier, so um, she goes... Yeah, I suspect her dexterity is better, so it is your turn, Ophelia. Um, Hold on, uh, Zhang Hua hasn't rolled initiative. Oh, sorry, I'm... Did you do it in Po Shan again? No, 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 he did not at all, I checked. Okay. Yeah. Well, no. He didn't roll at all. Um, well, this what is, is my initiative? This is the initiative check for those who wish to stop him from fleeing. Oh, there's ah. a natural one. That's a natural that one. <laughs> Uh, I suppose okay. I was a bit bamboozled by the sheer, like... Oh, bamboozled! <laughs> sheer bamboozled again! <laughs> like, oh, we just, you know, dispose of workers as needed. We just have a nice pit full of dead bodies. You know, no big deal. We, bear, we, we cover it over and put plants on it. All right, so Ophelia goes first. So, Ophelia, it is your turn. What are you doing? Um, okay, I wanted Benson to go first, but I guess I'll go first. Um... I'll use my charm ungulate spell to try and stop him. That's a saving throw on his part, correct? Yes. Um, he, wisdom, I presume? Saving. All right, what's the DC? Uh, the DC is... Blah, 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 blah. Um, 11. No, he must not 20 or fail. <laughs> he, uh, he totaled 15. Oh, okay, yeah, dang. Um, that makes it Eo's turn. If there's nothing else you want to do with your turn. Uh, maybe run closer to him. All right, fair enough. All right, um, OC, can I... Because I still have Molotovs, and I'm assuming that they're not already lit on fire, just naturally. Wow, I'm um, just trying to make this situation worse for us. <laughs> you haven't heard my plan yet. Shut up. I was, um, I was wondering if I can... Because I'm assuming it's a bottle of alcohol, a rag, and then some kind of heat source, not already lit, you know, like in games when you pull it out and it's just already on fire. I imagine it's in pieces right now. Would I be able to throw the bottle to, like, make, like, a, the floor slick, the floor in front of him? I see no reason not to try it. All right, I do that. What, what, I, what would I do for, for that? Oh. Uh... Make me a dexterity based attack roll. Alright. And what so you arranged roll that, attack roll? Uh sort of. What you roll on that will help me determine what the DC will be for him to avoid slipping. It won't be a one for one. Like let's say if you roll like a thirteen, it won't be a DC thirteen. But what you roll will help me figure out what I want the DC to be. So just go ahead and make a ranged attack roll. <sighs> yeah, these rolls but again. I dropped the bottle in to my feet. I dropped the bottle. <laughs> make, make a You're second. Just... Make a second attack roll, please. All right. I got a seven. I, no. At this point, I probably should have just chucked the thing in in front of him to see what he to make a firewall so he couldn't go. Well, on the good news, your bottle misses Ophelia. Okay. 
<laughs> My god! <laughs> As you go to throw it, and perhaps you let go too soon, perhaps you let go a little too late. Either way, the ball does not go where you want, instead it goes to uh, Ophelia's head. Watch where you're throwing! <laughs> sorry, sorry! I believe that is Colorado's turn next. Could I just uh, really uh, quickly uh, check what I can do as a bonus action? Uh, sure. I'm sure I have a bonus action, something that could help. Give me a minute. Um, um uh, wait, hold on, I do. I have. Huh. I do. Okay, uh, oh, see, I, I use, uh, spiritual weapon as a bonus action. All right. So, essentially, I can, uh, it says I create a floating spectral weapon within range, a range of 60 feet, which I'm pretty sure we're in range, um, and that lasts for the duration or until I cast a spell again. So, it lasts for a minute. So okay. when the, when I cast it, I can make a melee spell attack against the creature within five feet of the weapon. Really? So this, as a bonus action, I cast it, and it's not an action to do anything. It's still part of the bonus action to attack. Really? That's a, that's a yeah, spell. super convenient. However, it's a second really? level spell, so it's... Ah, okay, that explains it. I was like, wow. Yeah. All right, yeah. well, uh, go ahead and make your attack roll, then. So I'm gonna uh, make it within five feet of the d- 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 gray sky and attack him. Gray ski, technically, but go on. <laughs> you let me worry about that. Wait, hold on. The melee spell attack. Um, is that just my? Is that just? It's, it's your yeah. That's attack. the that's. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say that's with yeah, so that's would... my um. You would My for spell that. attack bonus, right? Yeah. All right. There you go. All right. You hit. Um, go ahead and roll some damage. All right. It's. 1d8 plus my spell casting ability, so that's 1d8 plus. Eleven damage right to the face. Ah, right, he drops like a sack of potatoes. Okay. Was that lethal? Uh, no, that's just regular damage. No, I'm asking, were you doing lethal damage? Like. Oh you, no. Like... No, I just wanted to smack him. All right, well, you smack him out cold. <clears throat> he flops on the ground. Uh, da, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> soon, but more confusing. <laughs> okay, uh, didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick him up and set him down somewhere safe. Tie him up, Colorado. With that robe that all cows have, right? Get him in the back. <laughs> I had put the him, rope for my sports him. pack, which was already used. Yeah, your your rope is um at your previous location. Yeah. Okay, I I'll give I, you my rope to use to tie him up because I have an explorer's pack too. Which I'm I have, not. I also have ropes. Anyone needs it. <laughs> all right, I give Colorado my rope and I say tie him up, Colorado. Which I'm not going to do. <laughs> Well, tying up ropes, I believe, is actually a sleight of hoof check. Oh. Which I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to have a zero, but all good. I'm safe. So to clarify, uh, I got an eight. to clarify, what are you guys doing to him? I say I we tie him up. Tie up. Colorado uh, doesn't want to. All right, so okay, Colorado, then I you tie up. him up. Colorado, you want to stash him away somewhere safe, correct? Just place him down somewhere safe so he won't trip and fall. <laughs> All right. Then Eo and Ophelia, you want to tie him up, correct? 
I mean, sure, I guess. Well, I'm, uh, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm just double checking to make sure I understand what everyone's doing. <sighs> I definitely want to tie him up. Yeah, tie him up. All right, oh, and I'll tie him up. I have the highest sleight of hand. Go for it. Just, you oh, yeah, sure. Just You'll show me, enough. just like how you showed me before. Okay, you showed me. <laughs> Plus 10? Yep. Hell yeah, 10. Holy smokes. I have the, um, the gloves of thievery. Which uh, allows me plus five sleight of hand. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Good night. Well, he's not getting out anytime soon. Well, dang. They, well, they got you... butterfly knots, they've got eagle knots, they got double stitch knots. All right, well, he is tied up and unconscious. Now, what do you, now, what do you guys do? Uh, gently slap him in the face so that he sort of may, might wake up. Give me a medicine check, please. Uh, slapping in the face, so that it works. Right. Proven it takes, science. It takes a few minutes, considering how hard you hit the poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did. Eleven damage. You did. You did. Uh, what was his almost, health? <laughs> you did almost thrice his HP. Oh my god! Really? Jesus! Yeah, um, four HP. There's something very fishy about this situation, and I don't like it. <laughs> but, uh, Me neither. He's not the guy. But if he, he is comes, the guy, cross him to the face. He comes. I think he's he just a businessman. He comes to, uh, a little. Obviously, a little disorder. Ah, ah, please don't hurt me. We're not gonna hurt you. Oh, I wasn't. You going, we weren't going to hurt you, but then this, then this anymore. Side over here, I say, pointing to Eo, decided it'd be a great idea to toss him to to, to pull out a dagger. <laughs> no. There's no money kept here. It's all kept back we here. We don't. We don't want money. Well, we, we want just want information on what's happening. Oh, okay. Uh, what, just... what do you want to know? Okay, so... Grace guy, where is he? Hold on, guys. Quiet. I'll do I've the talking. I'm the one that tied him up and smacked him around. I've already I'll take him to the video. Nice. Whatever. Grayski. <laughs> okay. Grayski. The Grace thing is... is... Never... Wait, did I... Did I do that? Oh, oops. I'm an idiot. I made a mistake. You guys are the permafrost family estate. What happened? I uh, got some names mixed up. I've, I've been saying you guys are at the ever. Uh, you guys are at the permafrost. All right. Okay. Right. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, this is important because Grayskin is the evergreen manor. God damn it, Ossie. Did you send us to the wrong? <laughs> Place. OC sent us to the wrong place. OC fudged up. Uh, well, yeah. no, no, you, you guys, I just got the names screwed up. But no, you, you were. Um. So this is the correct manner we're supposed to be at. You just called it by the wrong name. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Good. I, because... I done goofed in my notes. Because this is supposed to be the permafrost family estate. Instead, I was accidentally calling it the Evergreen Manor, which it, it is not. Okay, so we're still all good. Now, let me do some explaining. All right. I hope this is a bad one for, that you that you be the last person that should that should be explaining because you're the guy that pulled up. Shut up, Colorado, or else I'll so, smack you in the face. So as like you try, I'd like to see you try. So okay, whatever. Anyway. As a, in response to Colorado's blurting out, that's what he says. Grayski is in the is the Evergreen Manor. Well, we got our information. That's All right. Because that was highly unnecessary. This whole thing was unnecessary. That's all. Wait, hold on a minute, Colorado. Don't untie him. He said there were no Grace Grace guys around here before when we asked, when Zhang Hua asked, "Why did you lie, Friedrich?" No, no. The I am the only gray sky around here. You asked for gray ski. Hey. Wait, but 
That's what Zhang Hua asked. Zhang Hua asked about Grey Ski. You asked about I, Grey Sky. I asked if the. I did ask him if there were any gray skies that he knew. Yeah, and that's the one where you were thinking real hard. Which made me very curious. Was it? The curious yes, part was, was that's... When you asked about gray ski. No. Nope, I asked about gray sky. Yeah, so but that's, that's the, guy, the one the, the where guy you in the know, right? Yeah. Fair enough. Well, this is what happens when I uh, think I'm clever and go with uh, interchanging Ooh. name conventions. I, I just, just look in general. General, I have I have the picture just specifically for you, OC. I want to go see this. So yes. To you fail it. Clarify, since I realize I done goofed several times. <laughs> um. Gray. He, the guy you are talking to, reports that he has family back in rain. Most of his family are back in rain. When you asked about, yes, because when you asked about Gray Sky, that's when he went silent. Hmm, all right. So yes. All right. I, that's I didn't all. As bad as I thought I did. That's all we wanted to know, Frederick. That's all we wanted to know. You're free to go. <laughs> Uh, untie him, uh, uh, Ophelia. I'll just snap the whip. Crossbow to the face. Crossbow to the face. <laughs> the I'll, I'll do a strength check just to literally just to snap the ropes. Hey, oh. I can still have used those ropes. <laughs> so I'm the only one with rope now. Yes. Wow, Colorado. Oh, yeah. You want to see me try? You want to see Ouch. me try, Colorado? Uh, I'll just untie the rope. You will receive a minus one to your first attack roll. Or to your next attack roll. Uh, I untie the rope and let the guy loose. Sorry for hitting. Sorry for being so violent with you, Frederick. We just. This is important information. We apologize for the alpaca. But, but I, I apologize. What are you trying to do? We have some business to take care of with Mr. Gray Sky. Um, the the business. business. Oh, don't you mean Mrs. Gray Sky? What? Yes. What? What? You, what? you did not know that Gray Sky was. Was a lady? No. Men, right? <laughs> Are you trying to imply that Frederick is a woman that you can relate to him? What? <laughs> well, I mean, if because you listen that... to it, Frederick is a very feminine name. <laughs> <laughs> no. What he's saying is Gray Sky is female. Gray Ski, him, is a guy. Yeah, I know. Okay. Or that's what I the whatever vowel I I said at the end, I meant the one we're talking to right now. Shut up. Very good. Anyway, because you know why is sometimes a vowel. Anyway, whatever. We did not know, but that does not change our course of action. Thank you for the information. We'll be on our way. By the way. This entire operation is very deplorable. And I walk it out. It was. It was. Oh, it's it was perfectly horrible. good business. I, uh, so we're leaving now, right, guys? I'm we're just going sure. to it. But, uh, yeah, but I'm pretty sure that eventually this place is going to get shut down. Yeah. Yeah. I turn to Grayski. Change your business practices or you might be out of a job soon. But I see no reason to do so. Go back to community college. You'll, 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 just trust me. He shrugs. We receive gray sky that pays us nicely for the energy, for the magic we provide. It's a nice supplement to our income. Yeah, but gray no sky is about to be out of a job as well. <laughs> if you say Anarchy. so. Anarchy. 
I'm gonna so. pop a quick insight in because insight works. Insight's the equivalent to like sense motive, right? Correct. Twenty-three. Uh, what does this for? guy? Does this guy look like he might warn Gray Sky about us? Um. He looks shaken. But he, looks not like he looks like he's eager to get back to what he's doing. Uh, to answer your question, it appears he is very unconcerned about Gray Sky's future. In fact, he seems that um, even though you guys have been essentially threatening Gray Sky, he's just sort of been like writing it all, almost with uh, like, yeah, sure, whatever. Nothing, you know, nothing you guys are going to do is going to So, he's, hmm. I guess the best way to put it is, he sees, from what you can tell, it seems like he sees no reason to do so. Zhang uh... Hua. Hmm. How am I going to do this? Zhang Hua is going to... Hey, no, she's just going to leave. How anticlimactic. <laughs> Let's just go to the evergreen. Zhang Hua burned the entire crop. <laughs> you're, you're made of fire, right? <laughs> <laughs> she she just rolls around in the in, in the leaves. Yeah. And I'm a, I'm a toss just... great, I'm a let's see, I'm a toss great ski a few like a few of my coins, like sorry for the trouble. Go buy yourself some lunch on me. <laughs> I totally have this image of like Sean Kwa happily rolling around leaves. It's like this this in a sweet innocent smile, of pure joy. She rolls around the autumn leaves as they catch fire. <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I guess it's just it's just like mildly twisted but adorable little, little image in my head. She's so Zhang, Zhang Hua is the purest is the purest girl that she sets the world on fire. <laughs> this girl <laughs> is on fire. So I take it I take it you guys uh leave the the permafrost of family estate then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing we can do here. Might as well go straight for Grey Sky. Um and we're gonna have to end session there then. I did not actually anticipate this. And I have nothing prepared for the Ending next early? section. What is this? <laughs> well I well actually I expected a more investigation. Uh I would have liked to investigate the silos, I think they were, or factories, but I'm... everyone else voted to go straight for Grayski, so. I mean, you still can. It doesn't stop you. Um, but, uh... But at this point, I think there's no point to it. Fair. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to, um... I would have figured this out, so. Any case, so yeah, that's a session for now. Um... Thank you, PCs, for not doing at all what I expected you to do. You're welcome. <laughs> well, I mean, that's part of being a DM. Just, that's how it is. You're like, well, okay, then. So much hi. Um, now you said hi. And with that, let's go ahead and call it a wrap.